So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this sound, which is based off of the sort of limitations of the Roland Juno 60. And here's what it sounds like. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and initialize the preset. Make sure we're starting from scratch. Make sure oscillator A is selected, which by default it should be, but you never know. Serum can be weird sometimes. Uh, make sure with oscillator A we've got the JNO wavetable selected. Take the wavetable position up to 2. So now you're going to have this basic saw sound here. Alright, next thing we're going to do is turn on the filter. Make sure it's MG low 12. Take the cutoff. Bring it up to about 4500 hertz. But since it won't really let me, 46, 44, that's fine. Leave the resonance alone, pan alone, you know, don't mess with that. We're going to take the drive and the fat up to about 5% just to give it a little bit more of an analog feel. Makes it sound a little warmer. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take and use envelope 1. Now, with envelope 1, it is pre-routed by default to be controlling the volume. And the reason I'm going to be using envelope 1 instead of envelope 2 or 3 is because with the Roland Juno 60, it only had one envelope. So you can only use that one envelope to control, you know, whatever it is you might want to control. And a lot of times it would be routed to the volume as well as whatever else you might want to have it controlling. So we're going to take the release up to about between one and a half and two seconds. I can take the sustain down to negative eight and a half. If it'll let me. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to take the K just down a little bit to about around 900 milliseconds. Take the attack and bring it up to two and a half seconds, milliseconds. And then we're going to drag it and put it on the cutoff. Make sure it's down to about 14 or 15. And now we have this. So not quite there yet, we're getting there. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some unison to it. Now, the Roland Juno 60 did not have unison per se, but what it did have was what it called a chorus. So I'm going to be trying to replicate that effect as best I can. And I'm going to do that. I'm just going to turn up the unison to 4, take the detune down to about 0.1. Now we have this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take LFO 1, turn it on, make sure BPM and anchor aren't selected, make sure it's not re-triggering as well, take the rate down to about 5.5 hertz, and drag it to the fine of oscillator 1, and drag it right down to 35. And now we have this. So we hear they've got that vibrato effect going there. And the last thing we're going to do is turn on the chorus and the effects. And this is just to give it a little bit more of that chorusy effect from the Roland Juno 60. So we're going to take the rate, bring it right down to 0.05, leave delay 1 and 2 alone. So they should be in the middle and all the way down, respectively. And the depth we're going to take down to about midways. Feedback, we're going to turn that up to about 10 o'clock. Low pass filter all the way up and leave the mix in the middle. And now you have this. And that's pretty much the sound. Now, I would recommend kind of drowning it in reverb um, just to give it, you know, a really, really spacey feel. But that's just me. You know, you can use it however you want to. Um, I'm making this for you, for you to use however you want to use it, so I don't care. Um, but I hope this has been informative, and I hope you are able to use this sound and have some fun with it. So I am kind of new to the whole tutorial thing, so if there's anything you think I ought to be doing differently or something I ought to be explaining more or not doing at all, uh, let me know, because it would be really helpful for me and in return be helpful for you. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video.